Hi, I'm Matthew Harrison, president of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. Today, we have released a statement on religious freedom signed by a number of leaders of various religions in the United States. You'll notice the signers are very diverse. This is a statement that we prepared explaining exactly why we are standing with the Roman Catholic Church on the issue of the health and human services mandate for religious freedom. This is not primarily a matter of abortifacients or contraception or certainly not women's rights or other issues. For the religious community in the civil sphere, this is very simple. The First Amendment does not allow uh, Congress to make laws respecting the establishment of any one religion in this country, and Congress cannot make laws which prevent the free exercise of religion in this country. Free exercise of religion does not mean simply the freedom to assemble. It means we have the freedom to practice our religion in the public sphere in institutions that we have and run as Christians or other religious people. And so in the public realm, we join together with not only other Christian denominations and individuals, but even non-Christians and citizens who have, have similar convictions. It is our pleasure to have put this statement together with the help of Ann Stillman uh, in the Concordia Plans, and we hope that you will share it far and wide with members of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod and your friends and neighbors and others of religious conviction.